dryer and the So today I'll show you guys my apartment here. So first I'll share you all the rooms I have. I only have two but I'll show you guys around my kitchen, bedroom, living room and also the bathroom and then I'll share with you the facts like the size of the apartment, the rent I pay and then lastly I'll share some actual tips for you to use on your own apartment hunt in Berlin. I have a really small entrance here where I have a small closet for my bags, shoes, and also my jacket. Um, yeah, it's very small. And I also have the key for me and my boyfriend. And yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. I'll turn on the bathroom light. So let's enter the bathroom. It's a bit strange. The bathroom light is here, not here, but I got used to it. So I like to keep things organized and I found this super simple plastic organizer on Amazon and I find it really useful. I put some of my stuff here, like my eye drop and floss and also my lash serum because I don't want to like forget about them. So I put it in a spot where it's easy for me to see where I will be reminded of. I also put this face mask here because I like to do them every week, every Sunday actually as my self-care routine. Oh yeah, the only thing I don't like about this bathroom is that it doesn't have much storage. So you know the modern apartments, they usually have like storage spaces behind mirrors, but I don't have it so I need to make the most of this right now. I don't like to put so much things here because then I can't really like see myself in the mirror and it looks super disorganized so that's all I have for now so in terms of storage I just have like super small like a storage space here which is not that useful um yeah and I got this in Jeju when I was in Korea last summer I love it so much but I'm running out of it so I'm a bit sad but I'm super sensitive about smell. So I like to put like diffuser or a candle everywhere in the apartment, which you will see um, soon. And then I have the bathtub. Um, you might think it's a bathtub. What's so special about it? But you can't take this for granted in Germany because not every apartment in Berlin or Germany has a bathtub. Sometimes they just have like a shower booth. And yeah, I love taking a bath after a long day of work or studying when I'm super tired. So yeah, I love it so much. And yeah, other than that, it's just a simple bathtub. Put my stuff here. And yeah, I also... <laughs> I'm also grateful that I have a laundry machine and a dryer. So the dryer and the laundry machine actually. So every time I use it, I have to put like a anti-cough tablet because the water in Berlin is really hard. So that's really interesting because it also affects your hair. <laughs> it also affects your hair a bit. It makes your hair dry. And also because of the hard water, I actually have to pay extra attention cleaning uh, the surface after I take a shower. So straight down the hallway is the bedroom. Um, I have a pretty simple bedroom with um, all the furnitures that I actually got from my landlord. Closet over here. I don't have a walk-in closet, it's just a small closet. So yeah, like I said before, this apartment doesn't have much storage, but it is enough for now. I just have to reorganize every season probably so I have enough space for my closet. I'll put everything else in the storage downstairs because I have one in the basement. Here is just 
a shelf. I just have German books because I like to read them every night, spend half an hour to an hour. Um, just put those hours in regularly. I have some Polaroid pictures here, but due to my boyfriend's privacy, I turn it around, but basically it looks like this. Yeah, I got it from Amazon. I think it's really cute because it's super colorful and it adds lots of colors to the room. And I have the bed here. It's pretty simple. I don't think anything special. I like to keep it white super classic actually the sun setting so it's really beautiful as you can see our neighbor is pretty modern so all the apartments are like pretty new for berlin yeah i can really imagine maybe moving to one of these apartments when i move out of this apartment here i have some small decorations so i got this bag from bali on these i basically put small things like souvenirs that I got from Tokyo, Bali, and Cologne. So yeah, this is my small travel vlogger slash blogger collections here. And hello guys, now I'll share with you how my dining room, living room, and the kitchen looks. If you notice my outfit change, it's just because last time the sun was setting and the lighting was really bad so I had to film this part of the apartment tour again but yeah, let's get started again so as you enter this whole area of the dining room, kitchen and the living room because they're kind of like combined together because my apartment is pretty small so this area basically starts with the dining area so as you can see, I have a very small round table with a few chairs. I have a monitor here <laughs> for my work because this place also works as my work from home area. So when I'm working, I put my monitor and when I'm not working, when I'm using this space for eating, I just put the monitor back here. Before I move on to the living room, I will show you guys the patio because I really love the patio. I haven't really used this patio that much yet just because it's super cold in Berlin and I think the patio life starts in the summer or the spring. But I have a really small round patio here which is pretty much empty. So I'm planning to use this space for maybe grilling or drinking a couple of beer. But I really like how it's round because when I first saw this apartment, it's a white apartment with a round patio with a black finish. So it looked a bit French because you know in France the apartments are white and they have really nice black metal rails. So as you walk three steps to the right, it's the living room. It's a pretty small apartment so yeah I don't have much in the living room it's just the TV and a couch you will see in a minute but I honestly don't watch the TV that much um actually not at all but my landlord was kind enough to get me a brand new TV so yeah I have it here it's a Korean TV from LG or something so I can pretty much watch all the Korean broadcast channels which is interesting but um, I never do but I did just once last year it, I felt like I was in Korea because yeah it's like Korean broadcast channel I have a small corner here where I made a small decoration with a book that I got from Korea and also a nice diffuser because I'm so sensitive with smell and also a small thing from Japan. My long-term or like six months goal is to have a small corner somewhere here where I, where I have like a drinks tray where I can kind of decorate everything seasonally. So I saw a lot of people have like a corner for put all the drinks for Halloween, Christmas, Lunar New Year. And yeah, so I think that looks really nice. That's my goal but it's a small start. Now I'll show you guys the couch because it's pretty much all I have in this living room space. 
So this couch is a black leather couch, which I really like because I think it's my first time having a couch that is black. As you can see, this apartment is pretty neutral and minimalistic, which I really like. Everything is basically black, blue, white with a little bit of touch of wood. So yeah, I really like it so far. I got most of the furniture from the landlord, so that's the current situation with the colors. Yeah, it's a simple living room. Don't have much to say, so I will go straight to the kitchen. Just two steps <laughs> and the kitchen. I have a pretty big kitchen, I think, for the size of the apartment. So it comes with a lot of storage space, which I really like because I cook almost every day. Actually every day, I cook for every meal other than maybe like Saturday dinner. I have my ice cream maker here and my rice cooker, water cooker and a smoothie maker. I use this every single day, so I just put it here, but I know some people don't like to have anything visibly, but I like to keep things here because I use it every day. I don't have a coffee maker actually yet because coffee is more like a necessity than something that I enjoy. So every morning I need coffee every like the first 30 minutes I wake up. So I just use this Nescafe. <laughs> but I just use this Nescafe to just wake myself up. Super simple. And yeah, that's it. I have my meal plan here. I plan every single meal throughout the week because I think it's important to stay healthy. Let's move on. I have a lot and a lot of storage space. Yeah, I have my tea drawer, some ramen here and all that. Moving on, I have classic things, an oven, stove, and more storage, more storage, more storage. And the only thing I don't like about this kitchen, although I love this kitchen, is the refrigerator situation. So as you can see, my refrigerator is really, really small. I'll show you guys. So I have a very small refrigerator. I mostly have veggies, fruits, and some meat in my refrigerator that I use basically in the next one or two days just because the refrigerator is quite small freezer is even smaller it's literally this big so whenever i buy something new i have to eat something or throw them out so that's the situation um that's it um let's go back to the hallway before i share with you the details of the apartment like the size the rent and also share a little bit of tips on how to find an apartment in Berlin. I will first show you the rooftop because I really like that part of the apartment as well. It's not my personal space, obviously. All the people who live in this apartment, they, we all share the space, but I still want to show you guys because I love it. I really love this terrace because I feel like in the summer I can sit here and maybe grab a beer. The best thing about this terrace is the view. So I can see the Ziegesäule from here, which I really like. And you can kind of see the rice tag. And yeah, somewhere here is the Brandenburg tour. As the last part of this tour, I'll share some facts about this apartment. So size, rent, things like that. But if you have any other questions, let me know in the comment down below and I'll answer you there directly. So I think the most important thing when you are looking for an apartment is obviously the size. So this apartment, as you saw, is two rooms apartment with one bedroom and one living room. You might know already, but in Germany, 
living room counts as a room when you look for an apartment so if it says two rooms that would mean one living room and a bedroom bathroom doesn't count as a room so it yes yeah, so you don't have to worry about that the size of this apartment is about 50 square meter so it's a typical two room apartment size the rent i pay is 1700 i know it's um on the higher range when it comes to a rent for two rooms apartment but i really wanted the modern amenities that come with this apartment looking for a modern apartment was actually one of my three priorities for my apartment hunting so yeah if you want to see my apartment hunting process check out my vlog that i posted um last month i think so yeah that's that but yeah it's definitely a bit pricey but i really like things like the um, the surveillance cameras that, that we have a lot of apartments in germany don't have things like that and i also like the floor to ceiling window i love getting sunlight in the morning or watching the sunset and i think this is something i really love also not every apartment in germany comes with an elevator um i think this is a, like a europe thing a lot of buildings in Europe they're pretty old and it doesn't have an elevator or even sometimes they don't have like the modern elevator you're familiar with probably if you come from some other parts of the world I also have floor heating which is not too common I prefer floor heating as opposed to like the heat bar or like a heater because I feel like the heat like a lot of heaters that heat the air it makes your skin really dry so yeah i was really happy to find out that this apartment has floor heating lastly the location of this apartment is in tier garden it's next to Charlottenburg, which is one of the biggest residential area in Berlin. As the name says, Tiergarten is right next to this beautiful garden. It's located next to a huge garden, so it doesn't have um, a lot of restaurants or cafes, like clubs like that, but I value the quietness of the neighborhood that I live in, and also I'm not such a party goer. I like to stay home and go for a walk sometimes so yeah this kind of area works well with my lifestyle it's also in walking distance to um really nice key landmarks in berlin like museum insel brandenburg tour and you know these buildings are so beautiful so i just like to go there and walk around when i have time so i really love this apartment overall and i hope you enjoyed the tour and if you are looking for an apartment i can really suggest you to go to as many viewings as possible and go with all the documents prepared so you can hand in the documents at the viewing and also be ready to tell them about yourself like as if you were in an interview so yeah apply lots and lots and go to all the viewings and be prepared and make good impression i think it's good to wear a bit of um, a formal clothes when you go for the visit so yeah wear nice clothes if you want step by step guide on how to look for an apartment in berlin or, or in germany in general like which websites to look at and also and what documents to send i will make a video about that so subscribe to get notified when i post that so yeah thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye